Hi guys, welcome back. I know it's been a while since I uploaded, and the reason is, I'm a lazy piece of shit. That's literally it. And um, I need to stop clapping, what the fuck. Anyway, as you may have noticed, a bitch got a fucking tattoo. I got this beautiful tattoo by this amazing artist named Todd. Uh, who actually lives in Idaho. So basically in this video, I just wanted to tell the whole story. I wanted to talk about the journey because I had to travel out of state. I wanted to talk about the pain, how long it took, the aftercare process, and it is actually still healing. It's, I think, five days old now, okay? So it looks pretty dark. I know it'll get like a little bit lighter, which is fine. I mean, I just think tattoos are fucking sexy as shit. So I honestly never thought I would get tattooed. I grew up Mormon and like basically in that religion, doing anything to your body that is like extreme is considered like a sin, I guess. And like your body's a temple and like if you put anything on it, like you're fucking it up. And so my whole life I was like, I'm never gonna get tattooed. And I was told that tattoos were just ugly and they'll look terrible when you're older. Stay away from people with tattoos. That was kind of like what I was raised to believe. You know what I mean? And that's kind of fucked up. <laughs> and look at me now. So I think I was like in high school and you know, I like graduated and I really just started getting into tattoos. I was like, I really think that they're so dope. I've always loved what tattoos meant and what they stood for. And I just thought they looked awesome on people. Even like older people, when you get older, there's some older men out there with tattoos who look so badass. And I was like, I want to look just like that one day, okay? <laughs> I love talking about this. This is fun. This is great. So I basically went through Pinterest like all the time looking at tattoos. I would talk to my friends about tattoos and like eventually, literally just this year, my friend Christina started getting tattoos. She got her first tattoo. It was a little flower on her wrist right there. And she got like three tattoos later on. And I was like, you know what, bitch? It's my time. I think that life is too short to skip out on stuff that you want to do, you know, like Tomorrow's not guaranteed. You could like fucking die tomorrow and you know, not do shit that you want to do. I'm like fucking YOLO that shit. You literally only live once. I can't believe I just said YOLO. When I finally decided to look for an artist, there weren't really any artists in Utah that I was obsessed with. There was a few that I DM'd and some of them like refused my tattoos. Like they didn't really want to do it. And I was like, that's fine. Like people can refuse whatever they want. I found this guy named Todd through a friend who manages a tattoo shop. And Todd is bae. He is so good at tattooing. He does like realism. I wanted like a realism sleeve. I was like, go big or go home. I know that once I get tattooed, like I'm gonna become addicted. I don't want my artist to have to work around a bunch of little pieces. I'm like, I'm just gonna get a sleeve. And so yeah, I basically sent him all the pictures of like the tattoos I wanted. And I was like, you know, you could put your own creative spin because I believe you should like trust your artist. If you're obsessed with their work, like let them do their thing and like you'll get the best tattoo that way. He was like, yeah, I'm so down for this. This looks dope. Um, and then I had to wait four months. <laughs> and I was like, fuck, I want my tattoos now though. But I'm actually grateful that I had those four months because there were a few things that I actually made changes to. And the four months actually went by very fast and I'm just like shocked that I already am tattooed. <laughs> it was in Idaho, it was two hours and 30 minutes was the drive. And I was so nervous because I was messaging him like a week before and I was like, can I see what you come up with before I show up? Because it's obviously like a two and a half hour drive. I was like, I don't wanna drive there and hate what I'm getting. And then he was like, no, I just don't do that anymore. And like, it's not to be rude. I just, I just don't do it. And I'm like, oh my God, okay. So I literally just have to trust him. I was so nervous. You know, you're so excited. The minute you put down like your deposit and you're like, shit, I have to wait so long now. I can't wait that long, but it comes so fast. And then like the day before, or like a few days before you get so nervous. I was so anxious. I walk into the shop and the lady was like, hi, how can I help you? And I freaked out. I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I was like having an anxiety attack. And I was literally just like, what, huh? Like what's happening? Like I was just a mess. She gives me like the forms or whatever to fill out that basically just say like, oh, you know, this is a permanent change to your body, blah, blah, blah. Like write down your full name and your email and all that stuff. It was like really simple. And of course I had social anxiety because I really suck at meeting people. And like, I have to be with this guy for the next like, six hours like what am i gonna do that's not anything i've heard anyone really talk about but i feel like most tattoo artists are gonna be super chill they all seem like super chill people my artist was super dope we literally just talked about like days gone and like video games and like vr and like just random shit anyway he comes down and he shows me the reference and it's different than what i wanted but it looked super dope and i was like okay i'm gonna trust you i think it looks sick 
And I was like nervous because he was like, oh, that was an easy sell or whatever. And I was like, oh my God, I'm like, was I supposed to like question him? He's like, okay, I'll go stencil this or whatever. And it took him 20 minutes to like make up a stencil. And then he's like, all right, come on in. And he, I walk over and I'm like so nervous. I like was thinking about the pain so much. Like, what if I can't handle it? I've seen Ink Master, I've seen people tap out of tattoos and they just walk out with like a half finished tattoo. I'm like, what if that happens to me? What if I'm just a pussy? So I sit down and he's like, all right, I'm just gonna start shaving your arm or whatever. And he starts like cleaning my arm and like shaving it. He wiped it down about a hundred times. My arm has never been cleaner. He like sprayed this stuff on it and then like put the stencil on and then he kind of like waited for it to like, I don't know, dry or whatever. And it's like surprising how well the stencil stays. I still have some of the stencil. Oh my God. If you can see, it's like, ugh, I don't even know if you can see, but there's like blue marks. That's like the stencil. It's still on my skin and it's been like five days. And so I saw the stencil. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is actually happening. This is real. And like, I just think it looked super dope. Um, and it's kind of scary because the stencil, it, it doesn't look like how it'll actually look, you know? It's just like outlines of certain things and like then he prints off the picture of the actual reference. So he got like this big chair out and I was like, oh shit, he's bringing out the big shit for me. And I had to lay down the whole time on this chair that wasn't like super comfortable, it was kind of awkward. And like, I probably should have brought this up, but the thing that my arm was resting on that he was tattooing, it was like a little bit higher, I think than it should have been. And so like my shoulder, there was like a lot of pressure on my shoulder for like hours. And I don't know, it was my first tattoo. I didn't know if that was normal or not. So I kind of just am one of those people that's a people pleaser and I don't want to bother anyone. And so I just like fucking pretended like I didn't give a shit and then I wasn't affected. And honestly, I've never heard anybody explain tattoos this way, but it literally felt like one of those shocker pen things. Like, you know those pranks that you have as like a kid where it's like, a clicker pen and like when you click it, it shocks you. It literally felt like that, which was really unexpected. Um, but I think it was just cause like the machine was like vibrating so much. It kind of like vibrates your arm a little bit. And then uh, there's like pain. And so it literally just feels like you're getting shocked. Um, there are areas that hurt more than others. I was like, you know, I've been through worse shit. Um, you know, I can deal with a tattoo, right? But there were moments like when he was tattooing around like my elbow and like the bone in my wrist, those parts apparently are like known to hurt a lot and they definitely did. And I can see why people tap out. You know, there were moments where I was like, I can't believe we're only like halfway done. I've been sitting here for three hours and there's just like this stabbing pain in my arm. And like, you know, it kind of, the pain, honestly, it kind of went like this. It was like, okay. And then like, it got bad. And then it was like nothing. And like, I literally fell asleep at one point. Then it got really bad again. Then it went like back down. Um, and then, yeah, you kind of just have to like force yourself. You just gotta fucking take it. There are people telling me, oh, it doesn't hurt at all. And some people were like, oh, it hurts like a bitch. And like my mom, she was like, oh, I hope it hurts like hell. Cause she was so mad at me about getting a tattoo. <laughs> Honestly, there were moments where it just felt like they were injecting straight up lava into my body. Like your mind just kind of is like, okay, we just gotta fucking do it. You know, and you kind of just go into this stage of like, calmness, but also like anxiety. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Like your mind just kind of like shuts down. Like it tries to just calm down. I took a few bathroom breaks. I probably took two bathroom breaks and like I would just look at the tattoo. And honestly, I think just going through pain, it makes you think that it's going by faster than it is. And so he'd be tattooing me for like two hours and I went to the bathroom and he'd only done like the rose and I'm like, really? And people say like the wiping starts to hurt more than the actual tattoo. So like the ink kind of builds up on your skin and he wipes it. But I never found that to be the case. I always liked when he wiped. That sounded weird. <laughs> it was like the cooling, like calming, like after the pain, you just like wipe it. You know what I mean? Like it felt good to me. It never hurt me. It never felt like super raw. And um, yeah, he did an amazing job and Eventually I was just, my boyfriend was there the whole time. He got me some food and like, it took like 15 minutes to like eat a sandwich or whatever. We were there pretty late and then <clears throat> I had to drive all the way back home. And I was like, this sucks. And my arm was all wrapped up. He like saran wrapped it. And basically the whole aftercare process is like, I got Aquaphor. He had like a few different like alternatives, but he was like, yeah, get Aquaphor. It's like this healing ointment. It's kind of like Neosporin, I guess. And he's like, just wash your arm with like antibacterial soap that's non-scented three to five times a day. And then after that, you put on Aquaphor. And then after like four days of doing that, 
um, you can start using lotion. So I actually started just using lotion today. And it, usually, I've seen videos where usually the tattoo is peeling at this point, but mine is not. Mine actually still looks very like smooth. I don't know. I don't know if that's normal. Um, and I'm scared for it to start peeling. Like I'm scared that I'm gonna wanna fucking pick those little flakes off. You know, like I'm the type of person who gets like OCD about like things being like smooth. You know, like if there's like a little flake of skin or like a hangnail, like I have to get it off. And so I'm nervous, but you know, I'm like, it costs so much money. I'm just gonna fucking force myself not to do anything. Um, I don't wanna fuck up my tattoo. I want it to look good as long as possible. Um, and yeah, I was also nervous because I have this like skin condition called keratosis pilaris, which is basically like you have bumpy skin. It's like these little bumps on your skin and you can literally pop them. It's like really gross. <laughs> There's like these, they're almost like little zits. It's really weird. And I was like really nervous that um, I had those and it would like fuck up my tattoo somehow. But he didn't say anything and I watched like one video about it and they're like, yeah, you can just tattoo over bumpy skin, whatever. So if you have that, don't worry about that. I also have like a few moles. I have like some like small moles on my arm. Um, and yeah, that wasn't a problem. You can kind of like see one of them there. Like, I'm just glad that it's kind of concealed because I was always insecure about this arm. I like this arm's ugly. Cover it in fucking art and tattoos and shit, okay? And so yeah, anyway, after like six or seven hours, uh, he finished this. It's actually not completely finished. There's like some random lines and stuff. You can kind of see like um, this one right there. I think he's gonna like add, because I'm having roses on this side, so he's gonna like add some shit. You know? Oh yeah, as far as the tattoo meaning, um, the girl I want to get up here, she's going to represent like my feminine side. The whole sleeve basically represents like loving myself and like embracing who I am because I was always told to hide my feminine side. When I was a kid, I remember I used to like jump rope, like double dutch in elementary school with the girls. That was like fun to me. And my brother used to go tell my dad and my dad would get mad at me for like hanging out with the girls and like you know, just like crazy shit. And then I came out as gay and like, you know, I've kind of had to um, just learn to be myself in this world that basically doesn't believe, well like, especially where I live, like this state, Utah, it's very like religious and Mormon. And so I've kind of just had to learn to like embrace who I am and love myself. And like, that's the only shit that matters to me in my life at this point. And just worry about my happiness, not anyone else's. Um, that's kind of what this uh, represents. And so the line represents like the courage it's taken me to like be myself and love myself and stuff. And then the roses represent loving myself just cause like love, you know? And yeah, that's basically it. I still don't really know what I want to get on the inside right here. I asked him if I could get like a forest DC, you know, with like trees and shit. Cause uh, that was always kind of like my escape. Like me and my friend Nisha, we'd always like go up the canyon and like take pictures and hang out or like go camping or like whatever. Uh, and he was just like, please no. <laughs> I was like, okay, that's fine. Um, I'll just leave it for now. He's like, I've just done so many lately and I don't want to do it. And like, that's totally chill. You know, I'm just gonna leave that empty spot there for now. And like, I come up with something else or like whatever. Uh, anyway, that is my tattoo experience. I hope you guys like this video. Um, if you guys were thinking about getting your first tattoo, definitely think about it for a while. I would at least say like three months. Minimum like I've wanted tattoos for years. I used to want like just some like solid like armband Lines or whatever because I thought they looked super hot and like the singer of 21 pilots had them and I was like Oh 21 pilots like saved my life, whatever um, And then I found out later on that they meant in gay culture like they represent like fisting or something like anal fisting <laughs> I was like fuck no uh, Bitch, I'm never gonna get fisted. I've never fisted anyone before and uh, I don't want that on my body forever you know, so, uh, but if it has meaning to you, fuck it, you can just do it, you know? But it was like a weird, I just had like weird moments of like, oh my God. You know, I'll take a selfie like from a week ago and look back and be like, what the fuck was I thinking? Why did I think I look cute? And now I got tattoos on my body forever, so I better fucking love them. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this story time. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments down below and uh, I'll try to respond and I'm so excited to I'm getting my roses next right here. They're gonna look so dope. Um, I'm gonna have a full like half sleeve now or whatever. And um, my next appointment is in a month, December 6th. And I'm a little nervous that the road will be too icy to drive on and I won't be able to get it. So that's a fear of mine too. I clearly have anxiety. Okay, I'm done.
Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you like this video, I'll cry. You know, just fucking like it. Thanks for watching, guys. I love you all. And I uh, hope you guys have a good day. It's Monday. Ugh, that sucks. And um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, bitches. <laughs>